Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, I wanna to show you how you can take images and turn them into coloring pages that you can use to create a coloring book for Amazon KDP. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about helping you become self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. What I'm gonna show you is simple and best of all, it's free and you can start right now and start creating your own coloring book that you can go ahead and sell on Amazon KDP. With that being said, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use a website called Creative Fabrica and this website gives you access to millions of graphics, fonts, etc. They even give you access to KDP interiors that you could download and use in your books now for this example we're gonna just gonna do a search for images that we can turn into coloring pages so if we take something and maybe something like cute cats and do a search for that and see what comes up we can see all of these images of cats we can even filter it by graphics, embroidery, crafts, bundles, fonts, illustrations. I kind of want to filter it by graphics. And then within graphics, I want to filter it for illustrations. And then here we can start looking at these images and see which one would be a good candidate to turn into a coloring page. So I see this one right here. And I see also this one and this one I can see it comes with 66 images of cute cats, which is actually a good number of images that you can use to create a full coloring book. So what, why don't we go ahead and look inside this listing? As you can see, preview of the images and they look pretty good for a coloring page. The only thing that gets in the way is the color and so i'm gonna show you how to take images like these cats and turn them into coloring pages on canva for free so i've gone ahead and downloaded the images of the cute cats and as you can see here are all the png images i like to use png images because they already have the backgrounds removed they're a lot easier to work with so what we're gonna do you can do it a couple ways you can go to canva you can go to canva you can go file and you can go to import files and then you can choose files from here which will work which i already have here so you can do it this way as you can see it loads up here in the upload section and you can just click it and it shows up another way that you could do it is you could simply just grab the image and you can drag it into Canva, which it will automatically upload into the same place. And as you can see, they're both right here. Now we're gonna work with this first image and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to turn this into a coloring page. So let's say we're building the interior and we need to remove the color. The easiest way on Canva is to click the graphic or the element and this bar will pop up here giving you an option to edit the image go ahead and click edit image and from here it's pretty simple all you want to do is you want to turn the contrast all the way up you want to turn saturation all the way down and for this image it works other images you will have to edit the brightness to get the rest of the color out and as you can see we went from this pick this cat to a cat now that can be colored in so if we go ahead and take the next one this one and we enlarge it we click on the element Click edit image, saturation all the way down. As you can see, it turns it to gray. 
contrast all the way up as you can see there is there's still some gray but if we play around with the brightness we can remove most of that gray until it is a coloring page that can be colored in so what about this type of image that is a little bit more complex and has more color in it can we turn this into a coloring page now let's go ahead and try it by clicking edit image and putting the contrast all the way up saturation all the way down and if we play with the brightness you can see that we can get more of it white but there would still need to be some cleanup here which is something that you would have to take this image and use a different program like Photoshop to clean it up but I would say yes you can but would I do it probably not I would stick to simple images such as these especially when you're starting out creating these low and medium content books on Amazon KDP lastly what if you had an image like this where it had color in the background and you needed to remove that well you could easily do that by clicking edit image and then you can search up here for background remover you click on that and it will remove all of the color in the back as you can see there is no more green and you can go ahead and edit the image and once again put the contrast all the way up saturation all the way down and as you can see we have turned this into a coloring page pretty easily pretty simple using canva now if you want to get creative fabrica for yourself it's typically 29 dollars a month for the all access subscription you can go ahead and grab it for $4.99 a month right now, they're having a big sale, which actually if you use their promo code, which is on their website right now, it turns out to be $59.16 US. And this gives you access to millions of graphics, fonts, and like I said, even KDP interiors, as we'll look around right now, see what kind of interiors that they have. You have KDP niches, you have cover bundles, word search, how to draw 101 cute stuff, happy Easter. You have tons and tons and tons of interiors on here. And they also give you commercial license to use all of their fonts and designs in all of your books and projects that you're going to be creating for Amazon KDP. So if you want to grab Creative Fabrica for yourself, I'll leave the link down below. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you like these type of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, thank you for watching. Bye for now.